Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel, hope that you're all doing good. In today's quick tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how can you add a back to top button on your Squarespace site. Now to do this, you'll have to jump from one application to another since this is not a thing that you have built in um, already into your Squarespace application. So follow along, it will be a step by step tutorial and by the end by the end of this video, you should be able to add a back to top button onto your website. All right, first step, go into the elfssite.com uh, website, which is a website where you will download a widget or get a code for your widget for a back to top uh, button. You'll have here a button to log in or sign up into to make a new account. You will type, you will click that, and it will lead you to the catalog home section. In the apps catalog, in the search widgets button, you'll type in back to top. As you can see, there's only one for me. Let your users instantly scroll to the top of the page in a click. If I click on back to top, now I'll have to choose a template. So you'll choose how would you want your widget to look. I'll just uh, do the simple one and then click on continue with this template. You can edit the layout. Uh, the color, button color, button shape, size, etc. You can also edit the text if you want. Uh, for me, this looks quite alright, so I'll just click on publish. Right, changes were published. Now it will ask you to pick a plan to start with these widgets. Uh, right now, I will just choose a free one. I um, by clicking on the free one, you can create up to one back to top widget, as you can see. Um, there is also these other plans, however, if you do not plan using this site that often, I'll just recommend you to choose the free one. Alright, now you'll copy this code in the green. Code copy, make sure that you copy this exact code because you'll be pasting it onto your Squarespace. Now back to Squarespace, you'll go into the home. Then you'll go into pages. Scrolling down all the way down, you'll go on to the website tools. By doing so, you'll click on the custom code code injection option. As you can see, you can choose one for every page, which is header, footer, lock page, order, confirmation page, etc. Let's just try it in the header. So paste it, that's our code. Now, when you click on save, your back to top button should be there. As you can see, there's a button, back to top button right here. It now shows as the uh, Elf site logo uh, because uh, this site is not yet published. However, when you publish this site, you'll have this being the actual back to top button. So as you can see now, when I click it, it'll take me back to the uh, responsive back to top website button. You can edit it from there as well if you want to publish it. And when you publish your website, uh, the button will actually be seen right here. So that's that basically for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.